hey, hey, Mrs. Ducky is here, and today we are making sketchbook. I have this sketch pad. Its size is not useful for me, so I decided to remake it. I thought for a long time about this DIY until I saw this piece of cork in our shop. I tried to remember a hero from a movie or a game who was a traveler and I found. It is a story about a girl who lost her parents. Can you guess who I'm talking about? Nah, I'm kidding. Of course you know who I'm talking about. You read the title of the video. I'm talking about Lara Croft. According to the lore of the original game series, I like it more than new one. She is a daughter of British Lord Croft. He was an archaeologist and kept a diary which guided young Lara on her way to becoming a famous adventurer. I thought for a long time what's the main thing which characterizes Lara's father. Then I realized that I don't even know which thing characterizes Lara herself. No, really, she's an awesome character, a strong woman, but she doesn't have any details like some kind of logo amulet like in Diablo series, for example. She doesn't have a personalized weapon or anything else. Then I asked for help from my friends on the Mr. Ducky's Discord server. By the way, now I have my own server, the link in the description down below. And here's main details of Lara according my friends. Teal tank top, generic. Weapon. Two Desert Eagles or 1911 or whatever. Belts and backpacks made from leather, generic too. Coat of arms of Croft's family and they are filthy rich. Let's remember this list, it will be useful later. So what do we have here? I decided to make a sketchbook with different types of paper to increase the options for archaeological sketches. Six different types of paper cut in size of main watercolor paper. I'm going to fold paper in half and then put it between two pieces of wood. It's actually two IKEA cutting boards, which I'm going to fix with clamps. At first I was going to make the cover with a fiber board, but then I realized that it would be overkill. I'm using binding cardboard. Back of the sketchbook will be double layered binding cardboard, because I need a really hard cover here for convenience. When you're making sketches right during archaeological excavations, you will thank me. I'm stitching the paper and gluing the cover with PVA glue and then putting the sketchbook under the press.
while this thing dries, let's talk about lore of this project. So, this project will not be about uh, Lara Croft herself, but it will be about her father, Lord Croft, Count of Abingdon. Let's talk about her father. He was an archaeologist and he had a diary which Lara used in first games. Ooh, I almost forgot. Now I want to use non-stretch fabric as an additional fixation of the cover. This is my old shirt. I'm gluing it and fixing it under the press again. There was the coat of arms in the list. I want to make an engraving, but I've never done it before. That's why I'm going to test it on a small piece of leather. I don't want to fail the final result. So I'm drawing the coat of arms of Croft's family on tracing paper. Then I'm fixing paper on a test piece of leather. Ok, I need another idea. I'm going to transfer the coat of arms uh, right on the leather. I remember this method from my childhood when I wanted to create a copy from book illustration. Let's see how it'll work. I'm using a piece of cellophane and white gel ink pen. And then using it like a stamp. It didn't work well, but the result is much better than with tracing paper. And I'll stop here. For me, it's easier to draw the coat of arms here because I have the main proportions and shapes. And then the screwdrivers and the hammer. After it, I'm using acrylic paint for miniatures to highlight the embassy. While it's drying, I'm gluing TL bookmarks uh, to the book spine. In my head canon, this sketchbook or diary, whatever, might have been an inspiration for young Lara so much so that she decided to get a teal tank top to remember those pretty ribbons. And not more suitable for grave robbing, black one. While the belt and bookmarks are drying, let's cut a cork for the cover. I'm making it larger to bend the edge of the cork over the edge of the cover, gluing and leaving it to dry under the press. Final touches. I'm gluing two pieces of paper with maps as an end paper and another one with ancient look map of Britannia as a pocket for small things, like pieces of papyrus, notes on paper napkins, and so on.
It was an experimental project. I'm not proud of it because there are a lot of mistakes there, but I learned a lot of new techniques and after all this project was useful for me. I hope my mistakes will be useful for you. Before you'll see the final result, like, share and so on. See you in Christmas project. Bye.